Yeah, good morning Nigerians. Good morning, great minds. Good morning all subscribers of all grant in Nigeria. I am Ambassador Ladamsin de Capo. Give it this you know, this early hour of this wonderful day the Lord has made a Sunday. If you check the time now, it is uh, 15 minutes to 10. I really was supposed to be in church by this time, but the heavy rain damp all in, in River State. I am, like I said, Ambassador Adamson, popularly known as the Capo, the PRO, and the spokesperson of AGPA River State Chapter. Tackle precisely. I spend quality time to listen to all the V notes since 5 a.m. I've been listening to V notes from different stakeholders from Star White, from Livingstone, and uh, Comrade Owen. Oh, well, I can say you are a bless among the comrades. This is the first time I'm hearing you talking this way, very intelligently. I think I can say that I'm indeed proud of you, of the kind of spirit you possess. You are indeed a child of God. I listened to your vino very, very clear this morning to actually quote so many truths about the whole thing called the grand community or the grand ecosystem. Of a truth that the grand ecosystem has been built on this, of, on, built on lies, deception. Propagandas have been the foundation of this whole thing. It's so shocking to me as one of the comrades. By the grace of God, I had I'm a man of high sensitivity who do not just view this from the natural perspective. But also view things from the spirit realm. It is a gift of God over my life. I'm so ashamed when I hear your vino this money. And I said, Who do we trust in the whole of this whole thing? Why do I say I'm so ashamed? I have preference to some persons that I respect so much. Hearing from you, Owen, uh, Kamala Owen, bringing out the truth of the whole thing from the upset There are many indications that a lot of them were builded on lies, including the CD. He's a man that I respect so much. He's a man I have defended so much, attacked so many persons, offended so many persons because of him. But well, hearing from you as an insider comment who has been in the process from the beginning, before we emerge, makes me feel very bad that some person we confide on, some person we trusted, some person we have respect for has actually not the kind of people we, we think they are. I feel very bad about it. Sincerely, I, I must say this to you, I felt very bad about it. Coming to say that 
even from the country directors lies uh, such a man of such capacity I felt very disappointed you have held the truth to Nigerians it is left for Nigeria to take it what you just said you spoke so much took your time to speak so many things concerning the movement that had to do with the grand pursuit it means everything had been builded on this this lies and deceived how could the pursuit of uh, the cd of such a capacity lie to the public that is speaking with uh, the chief of staff where he don't even have his contact say your man of tea had a friend in u.s why these lies we were deceived by tuba global foundation the person of uh, Theophilus. and the same thing is seen playing out in uag what a shame then it means men of god have lost their integrity it means that you are giving space to nigerians that anytime somebody say i'm a pastor you should better look well or run that's what it means right now if what i'm hearing today all the deceit coming from men of god lies here and there it means in the grand community nobody can be trusted anybody can come up with all the lies and that you are a title a bishop of course in the grand community we see bishop who lies bishop who collect the money from people live a big life live in the hotel that they cannot afford on ordinary on their own because of the collection of money from nigerians what a shame did they see that to think that god is happy in the whole process did it occur to them that god is not happy with the whole process where bishops are lying apostles are lying pastors are lying in order to just gain the mind of nigerians to get their money from them they had and money what a shame i want to take out my time to address few things about the whole process if every one of them will have a rethink and repent there's a space for them let me quickly like i said i'm, I'm disappointed from the art of the cd as a man that i respect so much a man that i love so much i come ladams is disappointed of course we have so many calls that i i will i receive here that i was still yet to believe that such could come from the person i felt that is my father and my oga who i referred to as opposed to Dr. Kewakama. I've defended him, I've insulted so many persons, step on so many too because of him. To also hear that he instigated people against me and uh, Sylvester to stand proof of payment to him. <laughs> I laugh. It had to believe. Because for once I've not offended him, I've not given anything. I defend him. The same person is calling to to fight me and Sylvester. The same person that called me several times. I want to drag him out. I said, drag him out. What is this money with him? And I put it to the same person that nobody, not even country director, that will get this money and be able to keep the money. Neither the AGPM. This is had been my stand. That is not the kind of money anybody can keep to himself. I said, well, I won't disburse it. I've defended this country director to this extent. To win to hear that he's gay people against me in River State for no reason. I had to believe it. Our chairman, the President of Sylvester, find out 
how all this was coming from him. And after he told me, I had to believe it. I kept new. I kept new. That's why I've not said a word to that. I was watching. Until this V note of Owen is opening my eyes now that it is possible. It means nobody can be trusted in this grand community. Nobody can be. Nobody should respect anybody. It means nobody deserves any respect from anybody. As long as you are in the grand community, you can behave anyhow in order to get the heart of the people and make money out of them. It's a shame. When they come into the grand community, they forget who they are. It's a shame. That's one. Well, the CD, um, I can say, I know that this video will get to you. I, Captain Adams, is disappointed on your art in all the whole process. Based on what I've heard, the inside I've heard from Owen. I had a meeting last time, a lot of things were said. But I, I seem to be that I find it difficult to believe some of the things that have been said about you. But Owen, who happened to be your brother, came out to say these things. I'm shocked. Well, all is all is well. But let me say this to you, sir. You can't fight or we make a parable with somebody bring a chair for all of you to sit down. And at the end, you say you want to sit alone on the chair. The same man that brought the chair, you are dragging the seat with him. It's not a, it's not a good one. It's not a good spirit. I know one of the challenges you will have, you have people, Sanko fans around you, who give you wrong advice to fight against the AGPM, the national body. Including the executive member of AGPM, who I call the saboteurs, who I call the betrayers. They are the same people who come to tell you or advise you against to fight against somebody who gave you a seat. Why not use your description as an elderly man? And understand these young men have fought for you. They have stood by you. Even when other camp of the Theophilus said the AGP is working for Apostle Ken. Several, several, several write up about them, how the AGP is working for Apostle Ken. And at this point now, you could get listen to any advice that tell you to fight against the AGP. What a shame. A man who profiled you to the position. Now God has given the right contact and all of you were advised to work together. Four of you. What is and somebody will call and tell, push them out. They will allow you to do what they, because they want you or because you also have a dirty games in your hand. That's why you will listen to social divide. If your hand is clean, you won't be scared of people that provide you. Sir, with due respect, your hand is not clean. That's why you listen to them. That's why you, you listen to Sacco fans who will tell you to fight against a man who provided you, a man who gave you a seat, a man who gave you a platform. I, w I know I once insulted, uh, insulted, uh, uh, what is this called? Uh, Ogwara Chuku because of you, that you gave me a platform on the UAG and is fighting against you. The little do I know that you will play the same thing out in fighting against the AGPM. It is unfair. Don't forget that the government committees are watching your attitude. They are having several records about you. Several proof of you is there with them. And I know they have the final decision on the whole thing. In as much that four of you are the authority to this project. They have the final say to say this is who this bought this money. Stop fighting unnecessarily. So fighting the fight that you already lose because you listen to right a wrong counsel by psycho fans, by men who are full of greed. It's a shame. It's indeed a shame that you, like a father, you that's supposed to be a father, have fallen in the hands of Nigerians. I'm not happy. I won't go further than than this but all I say to you today anyone that is instigating you against the AGPM is you, you should see him as your enemy you never want the success of this whole thing but I assure you as long is a God mandate 
to Nigerians, those who labor for it, the fathers that labor for it have laid their life down for this ground. Somebody was a visionary on this. He was not a tribalistic man who behind the whole of the grants in Nigeria is not an evil man. And the tribe are not coming out to drag it. He's our man that's fought for this or was a visionary on this. And a, a platform was given to you by the AGPM to stand and you fail our hand. I'm ashamed. Well, like I said, I won't go further than this. A word is enough for the wise. And let me address the issue of living stone, common living stone. Uh, when I hear things, I don't judge things by what I heard. I judge things by what I see with my eye. From the day we came to O Project in Abuja, <laughs> for then I know that Livingstone is a very tribalistic person. I told Sylvester that day, and that's me. When I know you, when I see you, and I go with you in one minute, I study you, know who you are. I remember at a point, you you told us categorically that you're only going with Pasca. You, Pasca, and Ada, and left. And this is we who call Pasca to follow us to whole project. As soon as you met us in whole project, you met us in whole project. Office, sorry, whole project office. And you drove us in your car. At a point, you, you divided us and says, you and Sylvester should go your way. Uh, uh, what's it called? Pasca should go with you. And you all left. That's that was the day I told Sylvester, this guy is a very tribalistic person. Ask Sylvester in court. I told him categorically. I said, the attitude of this guy, Levi Stone, does not go well with me. For him to have said that we were the one that engaged Pascal to go, to go with us to whole project, to search for this project. Even when some of you discouraged us not to go, that it's too late for us. But we took our step. I told Sylvester, I persuaded Sylvester until we left for the whole open project office and get it there you met us there and then the next thing you would do was to divide us we brought pasca call him and ask him that we we're the one that invited him let's go to whole project office Sylvester called him and we left and at the end you successfully divided us and go out and go out with him and to go and get him the proposal by and we thank god that we paid for our own and we paid and we got our own proposal and it was accepted by the whole project that's how tribalistic you are. That was the day I knew that you are a tribalistic person. That's the kind of spirit you carry. And any man that carries such thing will not go far in life. A national project like this, you are coming in to begin to display your attitude of tribalistic. I, I don't want to believe that that's how you want to control it. You don't know who you are. That is why a woman will come. Any man a woman control does not know who he is. He has lost his manhood. He has lost his authority. Any man, hear me and I say this today, I have a wife in the house. I'm a man of authority. I stand the authority of my house. My wife does not determine what I do. In my house. I say what I want to say and I do what I want to do. And if you're a woman, a man, hear me there, your wife is one controlling you, taking your decision, then you have lost your manhood. You have lost your authority. You are not a man at all. Hear this. Leave a stone. I, I don't want to believe that that uh, all I'm saying that uh, it's a shame that you are lying a woman controlling you. Of course, at that time it's not your wife; it's just a, a family friend. I like I, I know. So if he's one controlling you, then you you, you lost your manhood. <laughs> it's a shame. But let me say this to you, Livingstone, as I challenge you today: if you are fighting and claiming that AGP belongs to you, AGP have grown that. I remember I was challenging you and I told you that the River State Executive had the capacity to run the organization as we can because we've been running the organization before now. Before the Grand Community comes away, some of us have been running NGOs before the Grand Community comes. We've done skill acquisition, we've done conferences here in River State. And that's why I challenged you the other time and I tell you we have the capacity to run AGPN, even River State. And coming to hear that some Venus tests. Uh, when uh, Osadaud, my beloved, said that you, you didn't know how you have instigated them against the executive members of AGP in River State chapter. You wanted them to fight. And what were you doing? What were you trying to get? Creating a parallel government in River State. Colliding with some persons who to fight me and the, the chairman. Everything run by AGP in River State is done by me and the chairman. I can say it anywhere. 
we are the vision behind it that the GPN University is standing and standing strong with the national body. But you are doing everything to frustrate our effort by instigating some persons among us here to cause confusion. What kind of person are you living stone? The same way you are doing it in Abuja, trying to now you successfully cause confusion between the AGPN and the UAG. I'm ashamed that the, even the, the UAG management followed your your your, your advice to 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 align a person, some group of persons who will be able to bring you to this line line, and they follow your instruction, they follow your advice. That's why you always make boss. You are. Uh, UAG official, you are AGPM official. What kind of person are you? Where are you in the first place? You don't be able to define where you are standing. What kind of person are you, uh, Livingstone? I'm so disappointed. I remember one time I told you we are doing everything possible to support and that we be sending money to AGPM uh, through you. You wish you deny uprightly that the uh, Sylvester have never transferred money to you. And immediately I called Sylvester and he forwarded me all the proof of payment that he had been sending to you. What are you talking about? Why are you fighting your own body? You, are, you say you are you are one of them. You are not part. In fact, the suspension is under statement. They should they should expel you from AGPM, and nothing will happen. You should be expelled from AGPM. Please, national body, I am saying this to you today. The decision of suspension should be cancelled. Livingstone should be expelled from AGPM if he can instigate AGP uh, UAG against you. And there is a proof that Owen has spoken the truth. He has called you and called you several times. Well, is Owen not a, a, an evil man? But he's told by this guy. What are you come on, why are you, why are you dragging tribe tribalism in this whole thing? This is a national project. The visionary is not an evil man, he's not a Kogi man. But if God gave these Kogi guys a grant to stand and to see that they will brought in an evil man to stand and they stood with him, evil despite many castigation, many stone against AGPA, against the national body standing with it, with Ken. And a lot of people said they have no Ken. Ken will disappoint this country. Why is AGPA? I know many times questions me are answered. Why are you why do you are you dead and uh, your national body is, is fronting uh, Ken Wakama? And I say, if it is the will of God, oh, what, 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 what is, is so, is so, is so disappointing that at the end of it, Livingstone, who, who claim or who is the Secretary General of the AGPM, is to get another organization to fight his own body because of what he will get. What a high service. All this, and you talk about greed, Livingstone, are you not full of greed? Why were you doing that? Why are you trying to betray your organization just because you want to get the the high the lion's share of this money? That is why you have you are you are fighting and standing with it, uh, the, uh, the, the the UAG management. That's why you, you you betrayed your own organization that you claim you own. You, know, you told me you own it. You put I remember that vividly that you guys said you had one that formed AGPM. You live it said it before my hearing that you are the visionary behind AGPM. You have forgotten, you've never emerged as a president. Why are you a visionary and then you are not the president of, the, of that organization? Let me say this uh, for you to know. If you ever run an organization, you bear the AGPM and I bear AGPM. Who registered first is the owner of that AGPM? Let me tell you. Who, 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 who registered first under the Corporate Affairs Commission or any of the corporate office is the real owner of that organization. Get it very clear. So, stop all this nonsense you are doing and go and sleep. You are work for the grant, you will pay it. So, stop causing troubles. We've just discovered all those people who said they are the AGAG management, they are all the Igbos. From Obi Wambo, all of them are Igbos who are instigating or got to send out the other book. But thank God that God was with these guys. And that was why four of them were choosing to be part of stakeholder who this this money. So Oga cannot align them. I know Oga was called me and asked me, Kapo, will you support that your people push me? And I said, no, 
I am not in support of anybody selling anybody. If government have taken for for security to be signing for this thing, let it be. If government on his own have decided to say because of this in, on this person, because of this petition on you, because of this problem, and they said they are dropping you, honorably step down and let the others took over, take over. That's how to prove that you're a man of intelligence, integrity. If there is any need that government is committing or who's handling it, say, please you step down, let others do it. If your hand is not stained, if you have not endowed yourself so much collection of money from different persons who are not vote capture, then you can honorably step down and allow the one who's been chosen by the government committee to do the needful to Nigerians. Why fighting for it? Why dragging for you? Why sending people here and there? Is the government committee are not here? Are there any human beings? What is the problem of you guys? Why is st starving this country for God's mandate that a man labor for it and gone to be with the Lord? An opportunity is given to all of you and you are suffering the entire nation. And people who don't have information are doing all manner they are following you, uh, clapping the hands, country director. What, what is what what is what 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 is country director that is big that's why everybody wants to be close to you. I am not close to anybody. No, I am doing what I know and what I'm standing for is what I'm standing for. That the grand is boss. I'm not very interested with this about the money. My interest is that the money should be disbursed to Nigeria. Well, spend your hand that money. I've sold my property for this grant. If your hand among the first stakeholder that the government have chosen, if anyone is asked to step down and you did not indulge yourself, you did not involve yourself in collection of money here and there that are illegal, even to the project, you will honorably step down and allow the other person to do the needful, which will see affect you, which will you get, which you start to still benefit. If your hands are clean, Nigerians, please listen to all this. If anybody is asked to step down, either from the AGPM or from the UAG management stakeholders, and he failed to step down, it means he has endowed himself, and that is why he refuses to step down. If your hand is clean, you will step down honorably and see work alongside with the other people and to make sure this this money is disbursed in Nigeria. Like I said, leave it stone. You are a disgrace to the comment. For you to come out and say all you say, I, I, when I listened to your video, I was laughing. I said, this is a level of childishness. That there's a greed. You are the most greedy person in AGPM. I know how many times you call River State for money. Livingstone, we have all the proof of payment we have sent to you to Sylvester account. What are you talking about? So when this money will not even make note to the, 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 the national body. The gets to you, will eat it alone. Are you not greed? Are you not full of greed? And the same people you are calling for money, the same people you are fighting to make sure you destabilize the River State Executive by creating a parallel government among us. We know who's related to you. Who calls you? We know that. Well, let me say this to you, uh, so to the noise that we have fully registered the AGP River State chapter under the River State government. And those your cause and those your people means are not among the BOT members. And so hear this today that i say this to you that all your plans has failed river state your plan and the other plans of the uag management has all failed in river state i was relating directly to ken wakama and i talked to him directly i speak to him directly i do my things with him directly i never knew he would be the mind my proof of him i have his own proof that i've sent to him i'm not hiding it to say that I'm not doing that to endow him, no. But for him to have sent people to start fighting me here in River State and Fly Sylvester for no reason, that we have loved him so much, we make, we make the River State CEO to believe in him. We raise money, we bring money to, 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 to say thank you, sir, for standing for Nigerians. If we don't love him, if we don't respect him, we will, do to, we will go to that extent. Why is the same person fighting? AGPM, you are fighting the national body, you are fighting the River State chapter. What is our problem with you? All because of Livingstone, who is instigating you against the AGPM. 
against the national body and also against the river state chapter what a shame i've told livingstone that we have the capacity to run it by the grace of god and god is helping us and we are standing with the national body to the end of the thing no matter what anybody do now will not make us betrayed our national body i call these men principalities because i i saw in them the hand of god in their life nobody can push agp out in this whole project agp profile apostle dr ken and until this time that himself began to fight against them if anybody ever told me that or a prophecy come that this same man you are profiling to this talk will fight you i would disbelieve it because why i felt that this man is a pastor i felt that this man is a father he will make sure body is carried along and it's something great what i should say something if anybody could walk with you for six months that person is a devil check it out it's playing out now i fought against uh what for talking to you rudely i never knew you also will also fight against agpm it is unfair sir with this respect it is unfair that you allowing men and women sacrifice to surround you to fight against you tell you to push them out what a game you want to play what a game you want to play in the ground you never bring you i know you in most of your view know that you're one country director who never sought for a grant and people provide you why not why not why not in humility serve in that capacity and this man is delivered by you and you allow yourself to be deceived by all the men you put around you what a shame even the few Yoruba around you do not have a voice it is your boys, the evil boys, the evil men around you that tells you everything. You turn it to an evil grand community. Don't forget, and let me remind Nigerians, the visionary of this whole thing is not an evil man. Stop being stop taking the grant to become an evil community grant. No, it is a national grant. Let whoever that the government finally approve to do the needful to Nigeria. One thing in Nigeria, relax. One thing in certain, the grant will be disbursed. Whoever that disbursed it, it shouldn't be our lookout. This is what I'm warning the masses for. Masses stop following the UAG or masses stop supporting UAG for their nonsense. AGP and profile the person of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama onto this position, gave him a seat to sit down. Masses judge it. Is it right? For Ken now to feel he can push them out. Masses, like I said, use your tongue to count your teeth. Egypt, uh, UAG is fighting a loose battle. I've always said this to those of you that are ministers. If you fight against man that anoint you, Whose platforms you stood in ministry, who showed that you are standing, that is the beginning of your failure. We've seen it, it has played in several ministers I have ever known as friends. And therefore, at this high time, the UAG called themselves to God order and talk to themselves. If anyone is asked to step down, step down honorably. That's why you can prove to Nigeria that you are a man of God. Indeed, a man of the people a man god has given this mandate you will honorably step down allow the needful to be done to nigeria you'll be celebrated all in all your life and your children will enjoy what you've laid down your life for the deceived the deceit the lies should come to an end joy and lovely Joyce our lovely, whatever you call yourself. You know the truth. But you guys decide to follow the deceit because of assurance of many payment to you. Sorry, it will not work. God is washing. God knows it. The Bible says he weighed the intent of the man. He weighed the intent of the heart. He knows your heart. So you can't deceive Nigeria. If all of you are working for UAG, because of what UAG has promised you, all of you have failed. 
including some of the AGPM, the executive who are the secretary general and all that. I don't want to call more other persons, but I'm centering on what my dealing with Levi Stone. You are too tribalistic. Stop all this nonsense. You can't hold a national position at all because you will align the other tribe because you bring an issue of tribe i've never heard about jama machi talk about kogi kogi no we have river state here the executive we are made of different we have we have the rivers we have the Igbo among us we have the edo i'm from edo state we have uh, we have the delta among us and we are working together apart from those you you are able to capture who give you message about agpm here in river state anything any meeting we had the next minute you'll be calling us you'll be wanting the, the chairman here i've only told the chairman that chairman gave you himself that's why you can talk to him as you like but you can't you can't with me like that i won't i won't give you that one minute to talk to me the way the man i'm not i don't i won't like he gave you the hand on the previous that you are the secretary general i have the capacity to run an aggression i raised down my aggression myself nobody contribute to it thank god we have registered the agp and river state chapter and let's see how you come and tell us nonsense. Oh, for my conclusion to this, I want to encourage the national body to stand focused on what they are doing and don't be tired, don't be uh, depressed. Don't allow them to talk you out of what your plan your focus. Keep focus, God is on your side. Osa Daud, I, I indeed love you, you are my good friend. Whatever the Lord laid you to have to say out, say it out, nothing will happen. Nobody can do you nothing. Anybody that wants to do something, the heaven will kill that person. We are standing for the masses and we will stand to the end and this prison will be delivered. Anyone that thinks you want to swap this money for himself or you want to amass this thing, they have done, UAG men have collected so much and amassed so much wealth to themselves. We are aware of all that. Why, why is, are they still fighting for the disbarment of this program? If you are asked to step down, step down. Thank God always said the truth. And bring it uh, your lady in. Uh, these are people I respect so much. But I'm surprised that a lot of them are, I didn't know of them are working for Ken because they are all uh, my uncle, my brother, Jennifer Isaac, and all that. My brother. This is rubbish. This is a national project. The question you should ask yourself is it Ken that brought this project to what it is in Nigeria? No. Is it a visionary? No. Why fight? Why are you supporting him? Why not throw away the issue of tribalism unless this project delivered to the Nigerians? The man who was a visionary came from a came from a community, came from a state. The state and all recognized this project. And we are not bothered. All our all we are struggling with is that this project is delivered to Nigerians. The man fought to it on, on fought for it until he died. Why one tribe tried to come out and said they are the one who's raising it? Let this old nonsense stop. Let the old nonsense stop. And let this gun be disbursed this month of June by the grace of God. Thank you, Nigerians. I just gave you this little so that all of you know that we are not in support of what Egypt, uh, what uh, the UAG is doing. Uh, and also to know that AGP and River State chapter is standing with the national body at all costs. At all costs. We will not look back. We will not look back. For any minute, we will not look back. We will stand with them. To the end of those whole things and i go i know that god is on our side always i love you for standing tall for standing strong in this whole thing that you never allow yourself to be salined by livingstone and his cohorts against fighting your national body for this i, I think I, I will respect you all my life for having done this today or for having said this whole thing to nigerians anyone that have here let him hear that you have spoken the truth I know where I show you the Lord's hand is upon you, nobody can do you nothing. As long as you stand for the truth. The truth will always prevail at all costs. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Sir White, love you that are evil men among the AGPM. I love you guys and keep standing for AGPM. We are here in River State. We are standing strong for AGPM. Uh, we don't even know whether uh, Zadaw is now officer. I began to know he's a, he's a, he's a Kogi man. He's from those right up. I knew. I wasn't interested where he's coming from. All I was interested is it's him what he's doing for Nigeria. Thank you so much. Jama Machine, we love you. The River State Executive, we love you. And uh, I and Sylvester personally have preference for you at all time. At all time. Pastor Felix, keep going on. Great. Find you up.
grace find you up i celebrate the grace of god in your life pastor Felix. god bless you Rigo. have a wonderful sunday as i go to church bye for now